I got some things I want to show you. Make sure I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. Good morning, everyone. This morning I received a message uh, from a friend who is handing down furniture to her daughter and the daughter has already purchased a nightstand and I will show you the picture. And they are giving her an oak dresser that they used to have in their home to help her and her new husband out. So she sent me the photo of the nightstand and asked if I could possibly come up with how to match the dresser to the nightstand. So after looking at it, I think I've kind of come up with something. So I'm going to make a board up and see if, if this will match it. I can definitely tell by the photo that the underneath is, is white. I can tell that very easily. So I'm going to make this up because I can use this anyway. So I'm going to try and see if what I come up with here will match that. Okay, I have a nice thick coat of white on this now. And this is using my color Crisp Collar from Country Paint. And once that dries, we're going to go over it with a black uh, paint that is dry brushed on and dry brushing is where you're going to dip it in and you're going to wipe most of it off or rub most of it off your brush and then from there um, you can go ahead and paint and it will give a, an effect of almost like a shadow instead of a coverage so I'll, I'll show you that as soon as this is dry. Okay, this seems to be dry now. And I'm gonna just go over it. You can tell I did a little bit of sanding, but I'm gonna make sure I get this smoothed out pretty good. And I'm gonna, for me, because I'm gonna use this later, I'm gonna do a little bit of distressing on the edges. Let's just wipe this off so everything is smooth and cleaned off. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now for a dry brush. I'm going to be using my country paint again. We are getting a brush that we can dry brush with. So I'm gonna grab some paper towel here because I want to be able to wipe this off. <sighs> okay, I've got my paint and I'm going to get in here just a little bit. This is a brand new can or a brand new jar of paint. Okay, and I am going to dab most all of this off, okay? A dry brush is just that, it's almost dry okay see how there's almost nothing on there now now if I just lightly go over this try to do a little bit on the edges here That's all there is to it. Now you can make this be a little heavier if you want by just going in and doing it again. I'm gonna let that sit for just a few minutes and then I'm probably gonna uh, sand it a little bit more so that I can get a little bit of the distressing on that uh, to remove a little bit of what did come on here with the dry brushing and then we're gonna wax it and we're gonna see how closely we can come to the picture that all right, let's see this picture again. A little bit more gray. And I have a feeling that's gonna be that.
more gray. So I'm trying to get more of a gray in there. Then I can dry brush the black over it and then we'll wax it. Just was not doing what I thought it would do. Let this dry for a little bit, I'm gonna turn the fan on. And then we will be able to dry brush a little bit of black over it and we will do the wax again. I'm gonna do a dry brush on this and we're gonna see Yeah, this ends up looking. Okay, so that just gave it a little bit of black, which is what I think is in there. Tiny bit more. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute and then we're gonna wax again. Okay, this is dry, so we're gonna go ahead and wax this again. See what happens when I buff this off. So always go in one direction either. If you're putting the wax on and you go in circles, you're gonna get swirls in it and you will not get them out. Okay. I'm thinking that's as close as I'm gonna get. I'm gonna show this to my friend and see what she thinks. Thanks for watching. Now that this is done and waxed and dry, I'm going to put some kind of vinyl on it for a sign. So I'm gonna cover the top in Mod Podge and let that dry and that'll give us our base for our vinyl. A lot of times people can't figure out why their vinyl won't stick to wood and it's because you need to have some kind of a barrier between the finished wood and the vinyl. So let's get a nice coat on here. We'll let this dry, and in the meantime, I will come up with something to put on this. Just on kind of a side note, I was just standing here thinking, where can I put all of my paint and things like that when 
I'm doing a project, but yet I'd still like to be able to pick it up and move it quickly. So I found I had this tray here and I am going to wipe it out. And one of these days it'll be a project too. But in the meantime, I'm going to put paper towel down in it. It's good enough. Then I'm going to put my paints in here that I'm using, my wax. And then I have a jar here that has mineral spirits in it. And I keep my lid on it as much as I can. And then I have a jar here. These are old little mason jars, wide mouths, that I keep my brushes and stuff in when I'm not using them so that I can get them cleaned out. So this way I can move it quickly if I need to. So good tip for the day. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I've got all these brushes that I've been using. I'm not done with them, but they've been washed out. So I'm gonna set those in a cute little cup over here too. I'm gonna turn my fan on, get that dried off. This is a matte finish Mod Podge. So as soon as that shine goes away, which you see how you can see that there, as soon as that goes away, we'll be ready. And I'm going to get on the Cricut and see what kind of a design I can find now. So this is what I've decided to put on. This is a print then cut. So I will print that on the printer first and then I will put it into uh, the Cricut to get it cut out. And then this will be vinyl. Well that printed out very nice on my inkjet printer. So now I'm going to let this dry for just a minute. And it's a clear so none of that background will show up once I get it cut out. So let's put this into the Cricut. <laughs> Okay, and we are ready to go. I'm waiting for the light. And there it is. And the light is going to come and it's going to detect those black lines. Those black lines are very important. We'll do this all the way around. tool and it goes over here to check that out. If I didn't it would tell me that. And that's exactly what it's doing. I have the wrong blade in. I was cutting out a few other things yesterday. So this is the blade it calls for. So kind of a cool mistake here so you get to see that. Now I'm going to press again. And it's going to go back and detect it. And tell me now I have the right one in there. applied the clear vinyl to the wood and then I went and cut out the words be kind in vinyl. And these you have to be really cautious of because they are uh, very intricate. You can just see how easily that would be to tear off or knead it out by accident. So once that was done I put that on transfer paper and I came over here and I put it on. So I have applied one coat of Mod Podge over this, so looks like it's pretty well dry. I do have a fan running on it, 